Survivors episode 554 on the sun is closed cement table. And it's closed cement table. People may play table tennis on it, I don't know. But huge news, Beast Barnett has gotten back to me on episode 550. The bush in that episode, a deciduous bush. Deciduous bush. It helps having a botany expert like Beast Barnett, even though he doesn't hold a degree. He loves botany. It's his main passion in life. For the people that love the snaps, Chicken Bob feeling much better lately. Look at that, he got a little bit of a piercing. He feels much better now. Much better. I got a picture of Kevin Sullivan. Picture of Paul Freakshine and his buddy pal, John Lennon, before they had a big split. More on Paul in just a little while. Here's Paul on the Freak Show. Paul on Wonderful Zach. Paul on his niece, Casey Carlisle. Pictures like that available at CaseyCarlisle.com. It's Casey Carlisle. Home for all your gift giving needs on Veterans Day upcoming. Election Day is coming up. Hand that to the constituents you'd win by a landslide. Or if you gave them those. What was available? She got those. Pull all the belts. Holding up all the belts. A little bit soldier. QT's favorite. If you're small, I'm not gonna lie. She got that. A little bit angry. Other members of Team Baddies. Not one single good meal in that entire bunch. Picture of old Ken Hamlin throwing a rock through the McDonald's with these Ken Patera. We got a great Ken Patera story last week from Todd Silver, the referee over there at WrestleCon. Autograph picture of Seymour Shop, proud member of the Gallows roster. This year's CAC program. An older CAC program. Here's what it looks like inside the law office of Steve New. Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube, which you may be watching right now. Hopefully you subscribe because it makes Stump and Steve feel better. He gets a nervous stomach when people don't subscribe. The Twitter where you can follow me, but not literally. Much like the aforementioned Todd Silver of Russell Club does. Much like Buddy Ruth does, the referee here in the Pacific Northwest. They both do, but I don't look over and there's Buddy Ruth and Tom Silver playing table tennis on this cement table. Current book I'm reading, and then I'll forward it on to Todd Silver, Shrapnel of the Soul and Redemption by Pepper Martin. Pepper Martin, a huge name in the Northwest years and years ago. He definitely was. Book I got for QT out of a little free library. He and Kurt Freeze is going to read not this same exact copy, but dueling copies of this book and give us a book review. Coach is looking forward to it. It might be the most exciting thing to ever happen in Coach's entire life so far. Top eight for sure. Pamphlet for the sign of the times. Some delicious demon and bunny coffee. Keith Ryan of Northwest Pro can tell you about that. And a JB Moonshine t-shirt. You can get shirts like that if you see JB at a show. This week, a hugely busy week. Sunday on Turnbuckle Turmoil, we kick off Hall of Fame month with all freak shine. The aforementioned, it was he who went into the Hall of Fame this year. We lead off with our current inductee, all freak shine. Coach will probably want to know why he introduced himself as JB Moonshine at a Northwest show one time. He certainly did do that. We'll find out. Then I got a beeline up to Timber Pro Wrestling. Timber Pro happening in Startup, Washington. I'll be doing something or another. I'll be there at least. Kikyo, the fallen flower, will be there on Monday. Looking pretty free. Tuesday's wide open. Wednesday, I have Rogue Wrestling Attractions and Ocean Shores. Looking forward to going back up there. Third show. The third one. I've been at all of them. Um, Thursday, maybe I'll watch some episodes of Magnum P.I. I got my Magnum P.I. face mask right here just in case. Maybe I'll watch the episode with Ed Asner, where Ed Asner played a retired professional wrestler or something. That'd be good. On Friday, on the show, we have Timothy Bryan. We had audio issues when we tried to interview him a few weeks ago. Hopefully that's not the case this time. Coach will have eight and a third questions to ask him. He's an audio guy. I don't think we ever have one. But to review from this undisclosed cement table... Sunday we have Paul. Then I got a beeline up to Timber Pro, where there are no lumberjack wrestlers, even though there's a flood of them in the industry right now. Um, Monday, pretty open. 
Tuesday it's free. Wednesday I go to Ocean Shores for rogue attractions, rogue wrestling attractions. On Thursday, I'll watch the Magnum P.I. Friday, Timothy Bryan making up his appearance, but pretty much episode 554.